Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ben, and today I will be bringing you a dungeon from DDO, Dungeons Dragons Online. And um, what this dungeon is, it's called Across Information the is the Key. Approaching the creature may cause it to leap to action. It did cause it to leap to action. So what I'm doing here is basically there is um, one of the people who I met in the pub has told me that uh, this artifact case, this uh, which has recently I think been shipped in, is um, being stored in Osgood's basement. I think it's uh, yeah, um, Osgood's basement. And so what I've got to do is basically go and steal it. Pretty much, that's the um, mission. Uh, it's classified as long, and it's actually a really good XP mission. So the first, uh, like the base XP for it is 800, which at level three. I mean, it's a level 2 mission, but even at up to, like, level 4, it's still really good. So, and it's also not actually that long once you figure it out, which it took me a while to do. So, this is my character. It's the same character from my only other DDO video, um, Valsh Dada Valsh. Uh, I, I don't know why I picked that name, but I did, and I'm, I'm probably... I've got a new character who I'm, who I'm liking the look of, who you might see in a future video. So, this game... Um, so this is in the city of Stormreach. It's one of the first quests there is. It's, uh, you find it in the tavern. Uh, the I think it's called like the Lucky Dinghy. Um, and so I've just come in and I'm now in the sewers beneath the city because that's apparently where I spend most of my time. It's where you spend most of your time in this game. Fighting things like oozes. And oozes are really annoying because oozes can damage your equipment. And if your equipment gets damaged, you're pretty screwed. Where uh, uh, damaged equipment basically means that you... Um, it, it, they can get to a stage where you where they're completely unusable. So these users are very annoying. This dungeon is technically classified as long, although as you can see from the length of this video, it's only 10 minutes. This is because um, they're like you t as you can see here, you walk slower in the deeper water, so it it slows down the entire process of the dungeon. Ultimately, this um, so when DDO first released. Almost, it, it was almost exclusively, I think, in Stormreach, the uh, main city. So, obviously, when you're in Stormreach, it's... So, obviously, a lot of the stuff in Stormreach is about, like, in sewers or in, like, city streets or, streets or like, things just outside the city. So, what I'm doing here is... Um, so, yeah, I'm basically just exploring everywhere because I, I don't think there's a breakables bonus for this dungeon. But um, I thought there might be, so I decided to. Making his way down the tunnel ahead, he hears you approach and starts running. Yeah, the uh, the dungeon master is pretty freaking cheesy, in this. so um, I and like he he isn't like he basically just sort of states the obvious almost. Um, I do uh, again just destroy everything, but I don't think I actually find a single thing in a chest. Um, and yeah, basically we're chasing this guy through the sewers, which is, I, th I think is pretty cool. Um, and there's a lot of sewer missions. And here I've found the only rest shrine in the game, and I've decided to use it, because, you know, I'm, off, I'm at about two-thirds health. So, rest shrines, for those of you who don't know, are basically places that give you back a certain amount of health and mana. It's not as much as perhaps I'd like it to be, but that's basically because mana potions especially are incredibly expensive, and health potions are pretty, pretty expensive. And as you can see, it gave me back a good amount of health. Not all the way up to full, but it gave me back a good amount of health. So now I'm just going to continue going through the dungeon, trashing everything I can, and chasing down this guy. Uh, yeah, so, um... We... Yeah, so I'm, I'm basically... There's a lot of, like, dead ends here, which kind of annoys me. But, you know, it... it it's a very linear dungeon, so having little side paths that allow you to sort of go off and do other things, to me, really um, is, like, helpful. Like, well, not helpful, but it just, it's a bit of variety. It it can reward players who, who enjoy exploration and, like, are willing to spend more time in the dungeon, which is, you know, good. And here is the guy, and he's going to run because the deep water doesn't affect him. And out come more of these iron defenders. So yeah, Iron Defenders are basically robot dogs. Um, they fit in so perfectly in Everon, which is the uh, set the setting for this game. Because obviously, well, Everon is like 
almost like steampunk with magic. Um, which is really cool. It's like everything's powered by magic, but it works like advanced technologies, and you've got things like airships. Um, yeah, so now I get to sort of head forward, check to see if, I can, if the lever does anything. Obviously, that lever is what he pulled to close the door on me. I only realized that after I tried to click it a few times. But I just, I keep on, like, adventuring, and now we come up, we're coming pretty close to the big puzzle. The puzzle which I, it's not even a puzzle, well, it kind of is, it's not, it, it's just one of those really annoying things where you've just got to try everything until something works. And the annoying thing is, I tried the right thing early on, but it didn't work. Um, so here we go, um, so there are these two ladders up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up one of these ladders at some point. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to go apparently just check down here. And down this side, you can, as you'll see, there is a gate. And there are also two more gates on either side with things in them. Unfortunately, I cannot get the, to the things behind one of the gates. I should have noticed. Not that one. The other one is a um, a valve, which, will, which would logically open something. But, um, and like like everything does in this in this game like one thing i will say about a lot of the dungeons is it doesn't really ever hinder you for pressing everything just once i'd like to see there be a random valve and if you turn it a bunch of bad guys come out and try and kill you that would i think that'd be you know that'd be interesting but i i haven't seen any of that yet then again i am only level three and they recently raised the level cap to 30 so yeah so here's the puzzle. So there are these two valves here. And then there is a staircase going up. So I can turn a valve, as you can see, and I'll get a bit of... You hear the grind and clatter of machinery from below and to the west. It sounds like something heavy is... You hear the grind and clatter of machinery from below and to the west. It sounds like something heavy is being ratcheted into place. So what that was is actually... There it was must be, be a way to open secret door from this side. But you don't see any likely triggers nearby. So what that actually was, first of all, I'm going to search. But unfortunately, as a dwarf fighter, my search skill is terrible. There is actually, I don't think, any way to get through using search. But what I'm going to do is... Uh, so what I actually did was open it and then close it. And now I've figured out how to open it, which was just open the first one. And then I go and grab the page from a research book. Uh, I'm not actually sure what you're supposed to do with that. I haven't done, I haven't like looked at it yet, but i um, just looking for like some kind of valve now. And it's obviously, it's on the other side. So I'm going to go and use that. You hear the rasp of stone against stone from somewhere above, as if a massive barrier is moving aside. Obviously that being the big wall, which is blocking me from the room from where the, uh, enemy agent person ran so now I'm just gonna climb up the ladder and um, yeah this is a fairly standard early adventure uh, in DDO so the event uh, the adventures that they like send you in are think you'll have like really things like this an iron then with the secret path ends in a well-kept warehouse. This secret warehouse will smash as his weapons will until they can safely be snuggled out of the house. So, um... ...but the crumpled metal beast can... You lift the case and slide it onto your back. Quickly return to the Fairlane representative. So, what I just did, uh, was... Like, I basically opened into the secret warehouse, which is where we are. And then now I'm just going to quickly give everything a quick check before realizing that obviously this this room is now empty. I have finished the dungeon and I'm going to go back. Um, so what you can do here is... Um, so yeah, this is like a standard adventure. There's also like outdoor adventures, which are usually like you get TP'd somewhere and, get, and have to go and, um, and deal with like... So it, like enemies attacking the city of Stormreach, whereas um and then like there's I'd say there are actually the only two types that I've encountered so far like sewer system and outside the city, which kind of disappoints me. But we'll see as I continue to play and continue to make videos in this series. I hope you enjoyed this. I have been Ben, and um I hope 
Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.